Jonathan, we're standing in front of what? Uh, well, it was like sort of uh, I stumbled into the wagon in Pomona in some dude's backyard when I was buying an old Land Cruiser for Icon. Mm -hmm. I just love this shape. I always dug the early wagons. Mm -hmm. But the front end was really, really ugly. On the, I don't know, 52 Chrysler nose is pretty cheesy. Oh. So it just sat in my warehouse for a couple of years. And I was picking up another Land Cruiser in Glendale. And the guy had a 52 DeSoto sedan in the front, same color. Close cousins. Close enough, so it, it gave me the idea, and then that's when we started the build. And it's called the Derelict. So uh, in the spirit of the Japanese art ethic of wabi-sabi, you know, time earned patinas, natural age and such, mm -hmm. we decided to just try something a little different. So underneath it's hiding a 6.1 Hemi with a 545 RV tranny and uh, six piston ABS brakes, Art Morrison chassis. So it's all pro touring, state of the art, all hidden, and then uh, we just didn't have the balls to paint it. So I mean, it, it really is a sleeper. Yeah, big time sleeper. Uh, just don't call it a rat rod, that's, that's my one. No, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like that term either. either. Yeah. That's be really a rod. I mean, this is a wagon. Well, yeah, it's a built out of crap laying around in the backyard, you know? Whereas it, we really wanted to hide the tech in it. I'm looking at the, the I'm, I'm looking at the rims and figuring you guys built those because they look yeah. a little bit, they look like 18s or 17s. Yeah, what are uh, they? What are they? I forgot. What are they? I'm running uh, 18s. 18s. But we won often with wheel <laughs> antiques. We scanned with a ferro arm the original wheel from the Chrysler. Really? But then at the size we needed for the six piston ABS brakes and the big rotors sure. and stuff, we couldn't fit anything. Sure. So Wheel of Antiques cut them for us and then we came up with this funky kind of patina powder that we used throughout the car. To, yeah. That's the one giveaway is the ZR rated tires kind of yeah. people bust us It's on. a cool color though. I mean, it's got a little bit of a primer to yeah, it. Yeah, kind of a little bit of funk to it. Funky primer. And now it looks like you did the interior though on it. We, yeah, we did the interior balls out dead stock, except we pumice rubbed all the original bright work to give even more like the patina age and pop mark feel to it. Next time I go to Burke Williams, I'm going to ask for the pumice rub. Yes, you should. Yes. They'll find a way to charge you for yeah, it. I'm sure. No kidding. For us, it saved money and it added care to the but, car. But now, what about the actual interior in terms of the textiles material? And stuff? Yeah, the dead textiles. stock. Really? Yeah, that funky crocodile, they called it uh, Florida Gator. I think was what they called it back That's in the day. That's a stock interior. Yeah, so and we had a stock color. It's and a good, all the wood it's in a the good back. looking pattern. That weird. Yeah, it's in the cool. It's and crazy. What we loved about this vintage, you know, the the interior was really inspired more by like high end boats of the day. Right. So like, it just has such like a funky marine. Oh, that's kind slick! Of wow! Feel to it. Wow! All these cool wow! Mahogany. And we didn't redo any of the bright work. We just cleaned it you up. You didn't and really. It. Wow. Yeah, we just replaced the wood. Wow. Was this a, like back in the day a high end wagon from DeSoto? Yeah, it was a pretty high. It's actually this is a Chrysler town and country, but the DeSoto front was so butt ugly. We direct bolt on to use the DeSoto stuff, which was always one of my favorite front grills. And then the grills all pit marked and trashy because it's Gold on that tooth. green. Yeah, so we gave him a crunk. He's got a nice cavity. It, it's so. Um... I mean, this car would be so easy just to walk past. Yeah. The, the rims are the only thing that would wink at you a little bit and get you to slow down. Uh, but you start to look at the interior, and it, it's 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 almost Disney-esque in that it, <laughs> it, it, it just took a, a bunch of guys uh, a lot of hours and a few dollars to make something look as... As untouched as we could. As yeah. untouched as could, and as easy to walk by as you could. We it, even like repurposed the original radio to be the iPod MP3 and Bluetooth link. And then we repurposed all the stock controls to like a 1950s siren and the original hoods and kill switch. And we hit AC but made it function through the original heater levers. controls and stuff. That's slick stuff. Yeah, it's fun. And, and the, hidden storage bins. and So you got the big brakes, you got the Hemi. Art Morrison frame, the Hemi, the late model, five speed automatic and then uh, AC and all that stuff and good audio. But Ooh. like, we, again, we wanted to hide all the tech. We, we right. wanted to really like feature kind of the, the, the history aesthetic of it all. Well, no, as we've, we learned from our last encounter, you're very detail oriented. Yeah, detail geek for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same way. And uh, so Sandy, and rear end, what do you got? Uh, it's a Strange 9 with a triangulated four link designed by Art Morrison and then uh, Six piston calipers and six 15 inch rotors in the back, six teams in the front. Jesus Christ, six pistons in the rear. Yeah, all the way around, yeah. You never hear it. It's always, got well, we got too. six in the Isn't front, it? one and a half in the back. <laughs> wow, it's ABS. there because it can yeah. be. Jesus Christ. Can yeah, we take really, a look yeah. at the motor? Sure, let me on show this you. Thing? The motor we spent, again, a lot of geek ridden hours in uh, really trying to 
combine new and old and hide everything out. So the car originally came with a Hemi motor. So we took the original valve covers and repurposed That's them hot. on the stands wow. over the stalker. Wow. And then like all this stuff like designed to be like a 40s bread box. This looks a little familiar there. I like that wrinkle finish. You know the yeah. guys at Norton Sales? They do all like the vintage aircraft yeah. supply stuff. So like we got these really cool pull old uh, aircraft pull pins. Pull before flight. Them. That's cool. Uh, 1800s Tennessee whiskey bottles are uh, overflow res. And I like your air horns too. Thank you. Those are stock too. Oh really? This horn's a monster. That's actually an old 1950s Land Cruiser Japanese. Uh, uh, air raid siren, yeah, like, air raid you know, get out, get out. And then yeah. we use some like vintage, yeah, all aircraft, all vintage, aircraft uh, stainless steel. And stuff. Yeah, that is. That Tried is. to hide the ugly firewall. The inner fenders are an example of the kind of work people spend on silly projects that no one else will ever see. Right. That passenger driver's side inner fender has about 40 hours in it because it's a double wall wow. panel now, so there's no visible electronics. Everything tunnels through that side and then just disappears, and the ECU and everything's all buried. Well, don't worry, you'll get every penny back yeah. you sunk into this sure, baby. If, right. I, if I yeah. know the car market, <laughs> wow, uh, another reason for your wife to be delighted. Yeah. This is, and uh, what about the bezels around the headlights here? You know, I bought NOS ones, and they're way too pretty, so they're staying in the drawer. So okay. we just, you know, this being during the Korean war you know all the base metals went Crappy. to hell uh -huh. and all the plating materials went to piss uh -huh. so uh i don't know to me it's kind of part of the fun though no i like it. It, I, it kind of matches plus when I'm it's trying perfect to... you know it is you can't drive it no i know you need the first scratch first nick everyone's all oh scratched. wait a minute look I, at the space I, I, I can barely check I, it out i apologize i i was touching you were leaning on my car. Not, I, I apologize that's something you got a little bondo sculpture. dust on there I, I, people <laughs> complain about that i apologize uh for that get on it all right yeah you know the we took the DeSoto guy too, the original emblem, and we uh, milled into the back. So he has diodes. So at night, he's got like this white amber ominous glow to him. And I was, you know, your work is so good and so authentic that I'm, I'm looking around and I'm trying to figure out what is a God given patina and what, you know, you know what funny? you I took didn't and any soda patina. blast it. No. You didn't. All I did was the pumice rub with Colgate on the inside to get some of the base brass and nickel to shine through. Mm -hmm. And it's funny on some of the. Uh, Online forums after SEMA, there were guys busting my ass. Yeah, look, man. No, that's, know, that's a fresh built car. And if you look carefully at that patina, they say brushed and they said, I was it drunk up. when I wrote that blog. Was I, gotta, that you? I want to apologize I up you. front. I should have. I want to apologize up front, Janet. Uh, well, speaking of up front, let's hear what the engine up front, up front sounds yeah. like. It's actually so mellow, you would, you'd, you'd expect it to be a lot rowdier. Until you put your foot in it, you put though, like a, it's all you need to put like shape. a rattly, like something that can't, the fan that makes a noise. Yeah, we gotta have, we gotta get a force rattle back in. But it's all two and a half inch ceramic coated stainless That's with fire uh -huh. muffler, so it's pretty right. mellow. Wow. So keep your foot out of it. It's pretty mellow, but right. Shifts and gets, as they say. Now what do we got going on this? Uh, Battery lead here. I'm intrigued. I just like magical um, terminal enough, post. That's from Fry's Electronics. That's really? for the audio cats. So uh. this is something we use a lot. We get these out of Switzerland. Oh, these quick connects. Damn. Yeah, they're really trick. I need You got one that of stupid those. green one that unravels. I don't like that. It always is like those, those twist off. Well, because yeah. you don't know. How do you know when something. it's done? You don't. You don't. Until you go click and it's We're, we're talking about the battery disconnect, and then I just started putting the race car. You know, yeah, once, right. but then the I forget key. about what's. Then you lose the red key. And you then lose really the key, screwed. and now you're screwed. Wow, yeah. what the hell? Yeah, Where by the way, your ECU things? is now reset, and all your AM <laughs> yeah, no, stations no, are gone. Ruined That's everything. Good. All the codes will be gone. Where we'll do you get? Fresh. Where do you get those things? I know uh, we have, we import them from Switzerland. I haven't found them anywhere in the U.S. I'll send you a. Those cunning mission. Swiss. I'm coming by your shop. I got to yeah. pick those up. God damn, it's it's diabolically simple. You know, I think they came from aircraft. I could be wrong, but I think originally uh -huh. your aircraft series. And uh, I see your air conditioning receiver dryer yeah. even was uh, done with a nice yeah. sprinkle finish. And then uh, there, our right? buddy over at Bent, I nice. know those guys in Canoga Park. He has all the Wait a minute, i got to talk to those guys about doing some radiator work on my plumbing, Mira. Plumbing. That's great. He's the plumbing king, because he has all the vintage two bending Burbank, two benders from the aircraft industry and he can do that's actually the one sublet on the entire car i was not good enough craftsman or tool resource to pull that bend off so market bend hooked it us is up uh it is quite a loop to loop and we also there. we have a twin electric high cfm 2200 rate fans but we we didn't want them visually so they're actually sandwiched, sandwiched in between the two uh -huh. which actually worked out optimum because if you if you totally box in 
the condenser, then you create a force flow. Mm -hmm. and it really worked out good. We didn't want the gacky modern plastic fans to be Sure, visible. yeah, they look like They're kind of ugly. Uh, Jonathan, this is uh, this is impressive. I, well, I must say. You. I mean, another uh, well, let's see. Uh, the icons he's rolled through here were stunning pieces of work. So, sure. did you expect anything less, Adam? No, I didn't. But I just, uh, I, I, I love. Uh, I, can't, I can't remember if I, I told you this uh, last time we got together. But I'm, I'm, I'm a weirdo. Oh my God, too, you didn't have to tell me. And uh, <laughs> I got, I got, a, I bought a house in the hills and from 1923. And uh, it had a had a chimney that was about uh, 14 feet high out of brick. And actually, the uh, living room was coming apart. And so I put a chain around it. And I put a come along. And I tried to suck the living room back together. How'd that pan out? Well, not so good. Because <laughs> <laughs> while my buddy John was up top with the come along cranking the thing, I went out front and started noticing the chimney was coming down on top of him inside of the living room. So I had to run back and stop the come along. <laughs> anyway, uh, I had to take the chimney all the way down to the, the roof line and then build what they call a bond beam and blah, 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 but I'll fast forward it. The code is when you rebuild the chimney, you need two pieces of ugly, rusty, right angle steel to hold up. So when you drive along and you see an old house, you'll see the two pieces yeah, of steel going house. to yeah. it and it's ugly as shit. And I said, uh, what if I take the original piece of rod that goes through it with the weird S thing on it I'll cut the nut in the S thing on it, and I'll plant it on the outside. I'll cut the thing and weld a bracket on it, and I'll go with the single one. I basically blew the inspector, and he let me do it. But I have guys come up to my house and go, uh, no, that, that chimney was never redone. And I go, no, I redid it. And they go, no, it wasn't redone because it still got so the you're, single, you're whatever. you a follower of Wabi Sabi or something? I am Didn't the, you repurpose some funky tile or something on that? Didn't we talk about that? I am a Wabi Sabi weirdo. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I like that. I love, I love taking what's old and figuring out a way to keep it going. And everybody... See, everyone has this mindset. It's the same with what I do with my floors at home. You know, they go, ah, blow it out, put some plywood down, and put some uh, pavers. And they go, no, let's salvage the old tongue yeah, and yeah. groove. It's clear. It's clear, Doug Fur. We can sell it. Oh, just blow it out. Blow it out. Everyone's to blow everything it's great out. Great veneers at home. Yeah, people. it's got some great looking. It's authentic wood veneer. Yeah, baby. Uh, right. Bamboo. And, yeah, right. And and I just like the idea that you're keeping this stuff around because uh, seriously, you know, maybe not in your lifetime, but a uh, couple couple decades from now, you'll be hailed as a hero. See, I'm hoping we can somewhat, you know, incite some sort of trend that gets away from the billet and the bling and the flames and all the conventions that our industry's been stuck in with customs billet. and Chrome, like blame, to, uh, blame ZZ Top yeah. for that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. Thanks. Appreciate it. Nice work. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Excellent looking. You got to get going on the Bronco, man. Okay. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Do you Bronco. want it? Do you want Look, it? You got a trailer? Cheers. Do you so, want it? I'll take I'd it. Take it. Take it. Take a hot dog and the Bronco and take <laughs> oh, it. Oh, sing up a toe ball on you it. You gotta get the I'll cats it, out of there. I'll bring it back when we, we're doing an Icon Bronco with Ford support with Camilo it's, Pardo. I think we got some. Oh really? We'll, we'll have at it with that as our third and bring it back. Please. I think we can. I think we can. We'll shake out the family of cats that are living in there. Cheers. Yep. Let's talk Perfect. to Donnie. I've started with Lester. <laughs> <laughs>